Hello YouTube, it is Airsoft Lock and Load here with another review, this time on the device that holds your sniper rifles up. That's right, bipods. Um, today I have two bipods for you, a little compare and contrast. I got one that you could buy, it's buyable off of evike.com and I'm sure other Airsoft retail, retailer websites. And then I got the bipod that um, I don't believe you could buy, I checked on evike and it is not there that you get when you buy the JG M99 Barrett or the JG uh, M82 Barrett. Okay, starters, we'll, we'll go over the design of these. If you saw my other video, I kind of already went over this bipod. Um, it is constructed of complete metal, um, except the rubberized feet. And the name of this bipod is the UTG uh, STD, or STDs, ah, uh, TSD. Low profile deluxe Pikini mounted bipod with rubberized feet, like I mentioned. Um, kind of just gave away how to uh, extend the legs, didn't I? <laughs> okay, and right here, uh, I got the standard Barrett bipod. I really don't have a name for it. Um, I'm sure there's a name for it, but right now, it's a standard Barrett bipod. Okay. So, and this is constructed of all metal, even the feet. There's no rubber, no plastic, no nothing on either one of these except the rubber feet on this one. Like I said, it's in the title also. Um, this bipod only folds one way. You push down on this button, and you pull it that way, unless you have it this way. Then obviously, you push down and pull it this way. Um, it does not go, does not go this way, it just refuses, unless you want to break your bipod. The Barrett's bipod will go either way. There's no button. You simply tug down and you pull this way. Or you tug down and you pull that way. So this one will go either way. Now, for the extension of the feet, you simply just twist this and they will spring forward as so. Um, and that gives it a nice springy effect, which I, I do like. I found that as a pro with this bipod. This allows the legs to to swing freely, which is not good unless, see it's swinging this way, unless you have your gun hooked up and you are pushing down and forward, so these are in the back, and then they won't move, and then you still have your nice spring effect to it. Um, to extend the Barrett, you simply tug down. And every one of those those clicks you hear is a different length. So you can you can either do it first length, second length, third length, fourth length, and uh four lengths I believe is it. Yes it is. And by the way, these are both uh completely up. And you can just see with this even with the springs pushing this bipod up no match for the Bayer bipod. Just no match. And by the way, if I haven't already mentioned it, this is a heavy bipod. This thing is just like, when I hold this, I feel like you can get it from the dollar store. And then right here, you have to travel to the e-bike store personally to get one of these bad boys. Not true. But, now to push the legs in, you simply push on this button. Bipod, you simply push down and twist. Now based on how far you turned this knob, it will take longer for the bipod to actually stay. Okay. And uh, you know, fold the uh, legs up on this one, you simply, I don't know if I've already mentioned it, you push the button and you do that. Okay. So this one you could get off of Evike and I'm sure other airsoft retailers for roughly $25. And like I said with this one. You might be able to find it on eBay, or you're just going to have to buy yourself a Barrett. Um, there's my short review. A little comparing of the two bipods. Thought I would uh, just make a video on that, just because I saw them laying around. Have a nice day, and as always, subscribe.